Hello and welcome. If you like today's tutorial, please like and subscribe. It really does help. Before we proceed with the tutorial, I have been unwell this week with the thing that we're not allowed to discuss on YouTube. Uh, this has left me with a croaky voice. And so if you have trouble understanding me, please leave a comment underneath the video and I will try and answer a question for you if you have one. Thanks. We're going to begin today's tutorial by creating a third person template. Choose your project location and give your project a name. In my case, tutorial 2. And select third person. Hit create. Once Unreal Engine 5 is loaded, if we go into our characters, mannequins and meshes folder, as you can see, we now have the brand new mannequin. Also, in our content characters mannequin folder, we have rigs, including an IK rig. We will get to this shortly. But obviously, if you want to retarget a metahuman, you will have to create an IK rig in normal circumstances. What I'm going to show you today is a quick, fast and dirty way of getting around this. First, we are going to need a metahuman. Let's go to Quixel Bridge. Go to metahumans. And if you don't already have a metahuman, you can download them here or if you have custom metahumans here under my metahumans. In my case, I already have a downloaded metahuman, so I'm going to export this to the engine. With your metahuman exported to the engine, you will get these warning dialogues. Hit enable missing on each. You will then be asked to restart the engine. Do so. With the engine restarted, we now have a metahuman in our project. It is time to retarget animations onto this metahuman. From the content drawer, go to content, characters, mannequins, and rigs. Here you will find an IK rig, IK mannequin. Drag this to your metahumans folder. Select copy here. Then go back to your metahumans folder and rename this asset IK metahuman. Next, we need to find which preview mesh our MetaHuman uses. So go back to our MetaHuman blueprint. Click on body. Scroll down and under mesh and skeletal mesh, it will tell you the body you are using. In this case, female, medium, underweight body. Remember this. Go back to our MetaHumans folder and right click on the IK rig. Go to Asset Actions. Scroll down to Bulk Edit via Property Matrix. Select this row and from the right click on Display. If this window is not here, you can come here to Window and show display. From display, go to imported skeleton. Over here to the right, click on pick asset. And from this list, we need to find the preview mesh for our metahuman. In my case, F, medium, underweight, 
preview here. Now hit save all. Close this and save your project. I would like to thank Leopard Dev for putting me onto this way of editing assets inside Unreal Engine 5. Go back to the content drawer and now click on the IK rig. You now have a MetaHuman IK rig. The goals are not in the correct place and because this is a quick and dirty method, you may need to do the full body IK again, but we will not do that for now. Next, let's move on to retargeting. Close this IK rig. Go to content draw, content, characters, mannequins, rigs, and you can either choose a retargeter here or from characters, which I'm going to do, mannequin UE4, rigs, and here we have two versions of a retargeter. I prefer this. Click on UE5 Mane UE4. Up here, click New Pose. And call this MetaHumans. Hit OK. From Target IK Asset, find our MetaHuman IK rig. If you need to edit the pose, you would come up here and edit the pose. I don't think we do. I think it's pretty close as is. Now let's find an animation. There are problems with the right arm and the left arm. If we click onto the left arm, come to IK adjustments and do blend to source and set this to maybe 0 0.16. Then find our right arm. And all we want to do is pull the arm away from the body. Again, go to IK adjustments, blend to source. I'm reasonably happy with this. You can play around with these values until you get the desired result. Once you have the results from your IK adjustments and you are happy, go to your asset browser, select the animation or animations you want to export, hit export selected animations, click on the MetaHumans folder, create a new folder and call this animations Hit OK. And that's it. We now have a retargeted MetaHuman animation. If we go to our MetaHuman's animations folder, here it is. Let's now check this in the editor with a full MetaHuman. First, go to our MetaHuman's folder and drag our MetaHuman into the scene. Next, ensure that our MetaHuman is selected. Click the Add button here, type Live Link, and choose Live Link Skeletal Animation. Hit Auto Activate. Scroll until on the tree you find body. Ensure that in animation mode you have use animation asset. Then find our idle animation. 
Here it is, idle retargeted. If for some reason your character isn't animated, go back to your live link and just uncheck and check auto activate. This is a quick and dirty method, so you might want to experiment, but it's a lot quicker than creating an iCreate K rig for your MetaHuman. And there we have it, a quick and dirty method for retargeting MetaHumans. In future versions of the engine, this will be a lot easier, but for now, we can do it this way. If you liked today's tutorial, please like and subscribe, it really helps, and I will see you in the next one. really helps and I will see you in the next one.